out into the site. Oh, but look at this, they're exploding onto the site already, having almost full control. One inside the boathouse, trying to stop it a little bit more, but Osiris is on a tear. Getting a double kill, taking down Kit Noble especially, taking down King. But look at this, Alexander trying to hold down B-Main, stopping anyone from rotating on by. Doesn't work for too long, Zach and Menace able to clap things up, and now it's down to a 3v3. Spike has gone down, Mimi. Have to see now what Zekin and company can do. If they push up at any which angle, it's going to be very hard for them to trade each other out. But Potter holding this very decisive one down below has almost all the advantage they need. The flash is going to go by. Doesn't affect them, but Menace takes advantage of it. Able to find one. They're able to clean up the side a little bit more. One up the line for EG side, but they fall as well. Menace with a trip. Does destroy the recon bolt, but they know at least someone's there. The leader comes on by. Amelia double. Make that a triple comes out for King again. Holding things down. Might be able to find a little bit more Osiris trying to make it not so much of a flawless round anymore. Gonna find themselves now the last one alive. Having to heal, Spike still in hand, a free A side could transition on over, but Precision might have something to say about that inside of Tree. Spike plant down here is good if nothing else. It gets them that extra 300 creds. Precision is in close. If Osiris wins this, you have to get worried. But to stop them except for some bullets on A site. The leader gonna go underway, no one's there to contest except for Precision, lined up and ready to find one, make it two, nearly three, but not enough to confirm the third. Claudia instead gonna get find the double instead to clean up the site. On to this three on three, the Empress up for Osias, and they have darts for the retake. They have everything they need to work off of here, and the shock darts continuing to delay this spike plant. But just 20 seconds left, they're forced to commit to this, and the retake should be able to come in quite quickly. First rifle round, keep in mind, everyone on EG needs to hold on to these weapons, they don't want Noble to pick them up, but trans- Oh, the galore everywhere off the site, in the middle of the smoke, Osias hides away, waiting for the audio cues, but Jangler's able to find two! One left alive, still Osias, Empress, Ow, doesn't want to waste the ult, doesn't check the right angle from the left, it's Jang- So, a few rounds ago, but now already down one body, make that a trade though, maybe making Woo! not a trade, second but two with the Hunter's Fury, is able to clatch it up, that's gonna be such a huge- Boon on the side of EG, they've lost the KJ ult, they've lost the Omen ult, and now they can just push on in with a few beers, but is that gonna be enough? The answer's gonna be no, Alexander's gonna fall as well. Trades go on by, two left on board, a 2v3. The recon bolt's gonna go down, but this is not looking like a great stretch. They only have one left alive, they barely made it onto the site. Osai able to find out the one inside of Wine, but Menace... Holding down a very dangerous angle here. The KJ ult's gonna go on by. Shows down for handles retaliation. Destroys oh my god! Oh, no. Holy moly! To start things off for the night, beautiful work. That's completely decimating EG's play. And even if they have two left alive, still a two v three. Mimi, their entire plan has been chalked for the round. Yeah, and look where Noble is. They're all rotated in now. Temperatures. Stuck on this far side, Osiris pushing up, taken out by King on the Jenny, and the double swing is out in combination. Side, Jangler still holding back up Bowhouse here, King kind of chilling nearby, Jangler's able to find one, but the trade goes under, now a lot of pressure's on this KJ. Alexander with three, Spike down, it's over. 2v2, that's right, there's no time, that's gonna be another round for Noble, and they're good for the first half. Alexander, helping out, beer in hand, it's gonna be precision right around the corner, they fall for this twice in a row, double kill comes out from both members of Noble, but only one left alive, they can't even use the ult, temperature with one, make it two, might be able to clean up a little bit more, but gets shut down by a very dangerous position at the very top of highway, but no, not wanna peek it just yet, tries to use the gravity well, finds one, makes it two, Spike goes down, that's gonna be so good for that, maybe make it three, might not even matter if the spike went down, there's only one left, Osiris from the back, tries the snipe away, but it doesn't work, Sheriff versus Phantom in the back, it's a stab in the back. Boost that they're giving me this map control, it's all intentional, give this away, we just play our defense tight on the site, let EG stall themselves out, let EG wait, because they know they will at this point, it's a great read, and I just need it, we need to see EG adjust. Yeah, speaking of it being a be great read, you're completely right. EG, they're not even bringing out the spike, they're out purely to economically destroy Noble for this next round, and at this point, it's gonna be a tough ask regardless. Zekin's able to find Osai as finding the opening pick, Menace is able to clutch up as well, Noble are just finding the entirety of the kill feed in EG. We still haven't seen any ults come out from them. Or not that I many. Mean, I don't even know if you want to use the ult here this round already feels practically lost. Three on five. If they punish this aggression from Noble here right now, they could win it, but the blind's good shot up top for Menace. He's forced to fall away, but still fighting, trying to two spray left. away. Claudia has two, though, Max. So now a two on three. But look at what's available for Noble. It's Hunter's Fury. 17 seconds. If they deny Spike Plant, they win the round straight up. 
Absolutely, and with Claudia with so little health left, a single breeze will take them down, but they're good for three. That's going to be huge. The sight's in their favor. What the hunt is hearing Mimi, you talked about, was able to tag up the Sobo, but if they are able to find maybe a little no bit more damage, no, there's no time at all, but both are able to keep their lives. They're trying to get that plan money. Claudia with four is going to be great, but to what for them to come back in. And this is kind of their last throw, their last buy, but look at the showstopper, Max. Menace oh. just shuts down the any advantage that EG could have found immediately. And Mimi, this is EG's map pick. As much intel as you can, but the Astral Divide comes down, that could be a problem for everybody involved. It's gonna walk out the majority of Boba House that is able to find Potter. That's another one to go down, two left alive. Claudia not having any intel, has to push up in the middle of nowhere and just to die. Temperature now trying to find something in the middle of nothing. One pushes up, he's able to clap it down. But Holding on by, waiting for someone to poke on by, through seconds. the shrouds, any audio cues, anything at all could be so valuable. But the showstopper finally revealing itself on each side, going for nothing it seems, but size is able to find a precision instead. This is for the first time in a while, EG's had the man advantage. We have to see what happens next. Bodies are falling left and right. Osai's is able to find Menace. And this is it. A 1v4. KJ, now last one alive. King with a double kill. Might be able to clutch it up, but no. EG final round. I don't want... Their style can be on the attack. But with the Astra and Sky in play, that's what I'm most curious about seeing this. But, uh, okay, well, maybe we won't see Sky this round. But future on, I'm curious to see how that coordination will go through. Yeah, I like the confidence up there that they were able to just push in, take the early fights, but the trades are good back in. EG on the flank, Osias for three, and Potter finishes the utility. They don't have that Hellfire to spam out, and Noble has a great gravity well comboed with the nade. It might be over for Alexander, but he fights out for one, two, before he's felled with the classic. Claudia now in position to maybe get more here. She'll find two. And the last player, second, he's relegated into main, trying to maybe find an exit with the Sheriff, but this should be a third round up for EG. Oh, a meltdown that came on by on the A entry point. Zach and now, staring up to the sky. <laughs> a bit of a somewhat attack pause, trying to figure out with the team. Okay, how do we get to match point? We are one round away, and we've seen this happen so many times, Mimi. A team can do so well, get up to 11 or even 12, and it's those final rounds that can be so problematic at times. Zach and, of course, maybe trying to go for the strike. Either pad up those stats, maybe get a little bit more economics in their favor. Nothing is going to the other side. They have to rely on the yeah. Omen now to blind out the team for the push. But also, I mean, never mind. Flash is completely gone. King's able to find both. The Jangler might be able to find yet another. No, trades galore on by, it seems. Alexander able to find the smokes. It's going to be a battle of a lack of utility. Yeah, there's some guns on the ground now that EG could work to recover, and that's a good find for Potter as well. Now they have a bit of information. I know that it's likely not going to be a B-main finish there, but I'm not sure if they'll be aware of the whole extent of the situation, King? as King finds too, and oh. Percival go down to a bit of a scuffed buy, maybe that Bucky out, the rifles on the board, but I, I, I still don't know how much... I have faith in this for EG, because what we've seen thus far, it's like they're winning these rounds, but it's not like it's dominant. It's not like what we saw from Noble, where they're getting every frag, winning rounds. They're going to keep getting this closer and closer, and they do find the opening pick. Alexander now on an island. He'll fall too. Max, this is a lighter buy, and they already have man advantage up by one. Oh, and with the rains and the rain up falling away, you're down to your bare skeleton crew. Not even that, you lost temperature. You're down to two. It's going to be down to Claudia. It's going to be down to Potter. The IGL, the team, go for the hunt. Seems like there's no information about either of which whereabouts, but though from the back, it's gonna be Potter that falls left. Has to fire open the doors. The Hunter's really though gonna solidify their fame. To work with here, you have to wonder what's EG gonna do in retaliation. Their aggressive team hasn't shown aggression yet, but they all drop down from heaven at once. They're trying to fight the ground war, but no, the train's going on by. Noble coming up all throughout the kill feed. Though so Sias is trying to keep them into the game. The bodies are dropping left and right. Two left alive now for EG side. Make that one down to zero. Everyone has to rotate back almost immediately. The blinds go underway, but look at this though. Up above, not only connecting the shots, it's Straight Central, sure, but look at that, EG are bringing it back, it's all green on the feed! Left now, it's gonna be King, trying to hold it down, just- There's a good case to be made, they could get momentum, but Osias oh, with the blades Osias. pushing up, does find the shot onto King, and now they have position, they have everything they need, a push into mid, is punished by Menace, and they find another as well, oh. Find an angle, unable to do so, Viper Pit comes down, blocking and obscuring everything on this site. This could be really tough now for EG to take it back, but they're not gonna stop regardless, everyone, on Noble, hiding towards the back of back site. Second, waiting around Pillar on the box. One side hell, though. You could peek up and easily find Potter. 
Oasis trying to find one of the time you saw audio cues. Bro oh, goes down immediately and gets taken down by Menace. The domain is be a fly trap. But no, everyone's able to get by. There's spiders. No, it's gonna be Jango and Zekin able to pop up instead. Two left alive for EG side. Now having to go for the full rotate around screens. 12 seconds left. That plant's not gonna have issues going down. But now a two to one disadvantage for EG. They have to bring it back. King's holding a power angle down below, but temperature up above. They have to try to find one. Not There's playing with each other. Yeah, the Lurk gonna be super powerful, Mimi. Look at that, though. Precision's able to find ones. ...options with Viper. Seeing how different teams are gonna adopt her is gonna be huge, but there's blinds each way as the fight in mid kicks off Alexander for two. And now Claudia on the site finds one of her own. And the remainder of Noble, they're kinda cut off. The rest of the team gunned down and oh, mid. Sias wants to fight. Oh, the dash good to keep him alive for now. But Chandler finds two, Max. That's crucial. There's a resurrection in play on pop. From the dead, though. Heading on to B, this could be a lot of problems for Noble's side. One picking up from Heaven's gonna go down though. Jangler with three is gonna make it work into the immediate plan. 30, 30 seconds, seconds now. Left. Getting kind of close. So size if they want to make a play now, it'd be great. Yeah. But no, they have to dial it back. It's not gonna stop the plant just yet. TP now, Jangler repositioning. One up above. One on the other side of the box. Jangler focused on the jet, though. Has to go down below. Finding the on team, the but hell, size with the trade is gonna go by. But look at this, a 1v1. The KJ's playing a dangerous game. Size might try to bait it out a little bit more. Picking up the Vandal. Rotating around on the other side. 17 health. A breeze will take them down. But from the back, might be able to find one. KJ Molly's gonna make sure it doesn't go the way they had Oh no! GG. Did you see the nines? May try to find some work, but they oh, all no. missed right around second ten. Oh, that is not a good start to this round, but we are gonna see... Oh, well, maybe not so many trains. A meltdown going underway. Everyone immediately showstopper to follow now on the tape. Oh, oh, it doesn't matter though. Showstopper doesn't connect, but tiny bullets do. Zakin's able to find Claudia, opening the seal of the round, but the trade city goes throughout, and still Noble takes the advantage. Three left alive now, two of which inside of heaven. The TP attempts you to go through. Alexander a turret in hands, able to find Jangler instead. The smokes are gone. The flash is still about. E.G. Bobber from the back is able to find yet another. And now Alexander. Oh no! Oh, oh, that's there's smuts all over the top there. That's not a good place to be. Alexander now kind of stalled out. Osiris and company still trying to make a play, but from the back, from the tippity top, it's gonna be precision coming through to secure the deal. We see that axe out. Not gonna be a knife. Potter falls. Two more left. Attempted to defuse. They hear the drop. Trying to find it. Maybe the trade, but the draw. The most important one goes. Luckily for them, they have a sage on the other side of the map. So this 10 health jet's gonna have a little bit of problems there. Eventually, no, not gonna be able to confirm a heal anyways. The trade city galore coming through. Noble's able to win. Yeah, and he's even still pushing King. Oh, the alarm bot misguided there because he falls. Now it's a two on two. The rest of Noble weren't able to make it on the site, and temperature beats him to it. Minute on the clock though to work with. If they find Claudia here, that means he's completely open. Other though, playing inside hell. It's gonna go for the aggressive position. Dark cover on the way. Finds one, maybe make a two. The spray goes through. They know where the breach is. But no, they get by just in time. Classic drop down. They know what's most important. But what's most important, a jet. Second hasn't checked just yet. He's so focused on the right. Man, it's not too much different though. Claudia and company able to find those respect. King, he wants to do something here. Spots oh, out the King. shoulder. But Potter has a shot. Oh, Potter, that was a really good save there. With King going down, not much Sentinel utility to worry about. There's still double flashes potentially on the side of Noble. That's gonna go down on A. But these power positions, no longer powerful. We're gonna be diso- Good in the pistol. The King is on the site. He's the X-Factor here. Uh oh and that's so huge. He's able to clay pigeon one. Claudia goes down. One on elbow side. Turk's gonna detect, but no! Alexander on the other side is gonna find the skull of King. Osias now, top of heaven, waiting for the rotates to go on by. Little do they know it's already gone through. Alexander's able to snipe one, maybe make a two, seven in health, have to bring out the grenade, but everyone on EG is able to clap together and find these confirms. One left though, Precision's able to find two, oh, maybe no make way. a three. The gun range now, 1v1 now. We have to see what Precision can bring out. It's all giant elbow, locking between the two. Still have to go for the defuse. EG, Jet, only needs to waste time. Defuse is going to go underway, trying to bring it to half. This Jet from now to nowhere else. Get up. Now the Viper wall keeps him at bay in main, but EG wants to push through. They haven't checked out Jangler just yet. Backside gonna be blinded out. Able to find one, maybe make it two, possibly three for Jangler. Brings one it home, trades out. He did his job. And now one left for EG. That's gonna be double digits now for Noble Sock. Just in time, Zekin still holding it down. Fault line barely misses. Finds one, maybe make it two. No, the trade instead. Left. King still holding his power position. Finds it through between two smokes. Claudia falls. And now a 3v3. That post plan's gonna be a very dire one for both teams. The Molly's in place. 
Trying to stall out the plan a tiny bit more. Temperature hiding in the back by maps, pillars in hand. They have that utility. They have the ult. Rolling Thunder could be huge for screens. There's two pushing by, but this Breach doesn't know that yet. Now we have to see what King can do here. Has to drop down below. That Rolling Thunder confirms. Menace not caught into it just yet. King with the crossfire could try to find one. Has to go through the mollies, but Menace is able to find one instead. Gets their way into the back for Temperature and Alexander clap it off. EG gets another one! If he dies here, this is the start EG needs. But he's also the first to play, and maybe a couple. One frag, now the one way keeps left. him safe. And Noble, with 30 seconds left, just have to fight the players pushing through the smoke. Now the Viper falls, so will the pit. But second still a factor. Now a showstopper in hand, and Noble finds all the frags they need on site. Osias for one, maybe a second, but there's no time. No shot. Because they wanted to split, but they didn't really have allowance to work on it. But now Osias is up really quickly here. The trade good from Precision. This lighter buy. They're making it work, Max, as they find man advantage for EG. Osias has been so great about finding these entries on the attack so far. Jangler by themselves, blinded out, in a corner, tries to find one, succeeds. But still another one down below, blinded again, has to face two more, maybe make it three. No, pushing the luck a little too much there. Somehow that showstopper does connect. A little bit how much work they managed to do on those couple of entries, but doesn't work out. Jangler, let's talk about Jangler, because he is having so much impact on both these maps. He plays Smokes, he plays that supportive agent, but he always puts up huge numbers and is always good for the multi-frag when he needs to be. And now, Max, it's match point found for no- Precision playing a dangerous game now, finds it after being blinded out. Oh, science goes down. The entry maker for EG doing such a great job creating that space is gone. Potter, another one to fall. Three left alive inside of mid. This could be where it all ends. But look at that, another one body goes down, enemy. one left alive, down, it's gonna be mid. all down to Claudia by themselves, having the rotate up, King may have an angle peeking on forwards, but that's all it 